In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to add a USB-C port on any computer. Now, most older computers, whether they are desktop PCs or laptops, and even some Macs, didn't have USB-C ports because USB-C is a relatively newer technology and it offers higher speeds, more compatibility. And if you have devices like this modern SSD that you might want to connect to your computer, they all come with Type-C connectors. Now also, if you have these new phones that you want to connect to your computer, they come with Type-C to Type-C cables, like this one. That goes for most, uh, most modern iPhones and most modern Samsung phones and other companies as well are going to Type-C. So which is the easiest way to add a Type-C port to your computer? So the easiest way I've found is to just go on Amazon or on any store and get yourself a USB-C female to USB-C, I mean USB-A male adapter like this one. Now this particular one is from Ugreen, which uh, by the way have not sponsored this video. I'm just making a tutorial here and I find this one to be extremely useful and it offers me reliability and high speeds. Okay, so with this adapter, you can just sacrifice one of the USB-A ports the traditional USB-A ports on your computer and turn it into a USB-C by plugging this in there. So for instance, if you look at this computer, uh, which is not a very good example because it does have a USB-C port, but let's assume this was not here and it had two USB-A ports. So all I have to do is connect this here. Oops, wrong port. So let's connect this here like that and now we have a USB-C port on this computer. Now, if you have a desktop, you can actually leave this there on permanently. And anytime you need to connect something like this uh, USB-C SSD, just connect it to your older computer just like that, okay? Now, if you have a laptop which you normally carry in your bag, then it might be a good thing to keep removing this. Fortunately, it's small enough to fit in your bag, in your pocket, anywhere you can carry it. And like I said, if you have a desktop that sits on your uh, desk or in your office or something, you can just leave this there on permanently and that USB-A port is now a USB-C port. It's literally that simple, okay? So you can disconnect and connect USB-A devices. Now this particular one from Ugreen is a USB-C to USB 3.0. So that means you get up to uh, 10 gigabits per second speeds. And of course, that also is going to be affected by the speed of your USB port on your older computer. But this one is a very capable little dongle. Now, you don't have to pick this one up. I'll actually leave a link in the description where you can check this out and other ones that you might want to use. Uh, you might want to have a smaller one that's not in the way. Maybe a thinner one or a smaller one that you can leave on your laptop continuously or on your desktop computer to not really stand out. But that is basically how to add a USB-C port on any old computer. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. If you found this useful, don't forget to leave a like, possibly also subscribe for more tips, and I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck.